In today's episode, I'm going to show you how to make a two-color print that's flush to the surface on any single nozzle 3D printer using Z-Hop and Cura. I'll show you all the steps on today's Filament Friday. Filament Friday is brought to you by these Patreon supporters. I'm working on an electronic project. I wanted a nice case for it. This was my first shot at it. I was just going to put a sticker over it. Changed my mind. Tried to make it a little fancy with rounded edges. Didn't like it. Then I made one with recessed letters. And it was fine, but it was kind of plain. And then I decided I wanted to do two colors. Now I do have a printer here that can do two colors. It's a G-Tech machine. But I wanted to try this method with the Z-Hop. So normally the nozzle would just come across when it gets to a gap, retracts filament, goes across the gap, pushes out filament again, and keeps printing. With Z-Hop, it'll not only retract the filament, it'll lift the nozzle, go across the gap, come back down, and then start printing material again. So that's how Z-Hop works. Here's my design and Tinkercad that I created. I've got this little push button lever, it goes in a hole, push the button, a back cover, and then this is the case to hold the electronics. I've got mounts designed in to hold the circuit board and a frame for going around a display. But now let me show you the top of this thing. That's what we're working on. So this design actually has some recessed areas or inlay areas. You can see this frame around the outside as a channel. And then also the dice and the words are the same way. They're recessed, just like an inlay. So the way I did that is I have the design and made it into a hole. And then when I grouped it together, it took away that material. So I ungrouped it here so I can duplicate that and then I can slide this out and make it into a solid. So I duplicated it, slide it out to the side, and then I'm going to change this from a hole into a solid. So I'll just click on the red here, and now it's a solid piece. Now that that's a solid, I can work with it. So I'm going to flip it 180 degrees, and then I'll bring it down to the bed, and I'm just going to slide it down here below the box. But let me show you how thick it is. I'm going to bring the ruler tool. I made this thing only 0.4 millimeters tall. So at a 0.2 layer height, that's two layers, which is perfect. So if I center these two to each other, you can see they line up. So that's how I can line these up and cure. I'll show that in a minute. So now that I have these two, what I'm going to do is export them as separate STL files. So first the lettering and then the box itself. I'll export both of those of STL and then we'll bring it into Cura. First I brought the lettering into Cura, laid it flat on the bed, and it's centered on the bed. Then I'm going to use my 0.2 profile, so 0.2 layer height, and I'm going to shut off any skirt. I want no skirt, nothing around this, I just want the lettering. I'll slice it real quick, four minutes to print this, and you can see it's only two layers. So when I go to preview mode, two layers. Easy. So let's print this, and then we'll move on. So here it is printing on my Ender 3. And when it's done, it looks pretty good. I got all the letters to stick. My bed is leveled pretty well. The dice came out great. So now we're ready to do the box. So now I'll bring the box in, but I haven't removed the letters yet. So I'm going to center these two and then verify that they line up. So my flip over, you can see they're lined up. So then I'll select the lettering and delete that. And I'm back to just my box with the gaps, with the spaces where it's going to Z-hop over. So it's going to print the black. Then it's going to Z-hop over the red that's already printed, and it's come back down and print more black. So it'll do that in between the lettering and around it. I'm going to use the same settings, except now I'm going to use Z-hop. So I search on Z-hop, and you just check this box. And it's it talks about the bed moving, because that's Ultimaker. The nozzle's going to go up. And then you need to set the height. And remember I said it was a 0.4 millimeter height on the red, so I'm going to make this hop to a 0.5 millimeters. So then I can slice this, and as you can see, it takes 4 hours and 25 minutes, so it's a longer print. But here's in preview, and it really doesn't show the hop, but you can see it's, you know, guiding around the letters. And then eventually it's going to, you know, fill in everything else, and then the last step, it actually draws the inserts or in between the dice. So this is what it's going to print in black. So now let's see this actually in action. So here it is, printing the black on top of the red, and you can see this thing Z-hop. It comes up a little bit, goes to the next spot, then it comes up here at the letters. Goes in between the letters, goes in between the, the dice, and just prints the black in between the red. 
just hops all over the place. It's really cool how this works. It was actually difficult to get this to film um, close enough with my camera, but it, it, I think this captures it and you can see here's some of it completed. There's still one dice not completed. Here's most of it covered. And then when it's done, you know, like the third layer, it starts covering everything with black until it finishes the print. And then here's the finished print. And it came out really nice. It came off the bed easy and everything's flush. I'm really happy with the results. There's the finished design. I'm pretty happy with it. Now, you could print this on glass and get a real smooth finish, but I wanted a little bit of texture on this guy, so I'm happy with the results I'm getting. But you want to make sure your bed is clean and you want to make sure it's leveled so those letters and stuff will stick and not come off while it's printing the second print. So it's, it's really not difficult to do. You can do this on any printer. Just use the Z-Hop and Cura and you're ready to go. So let me know what you guys think of this in the comments below. And that's it for this week. I hope you're doing well, staying safe during this turmoil we're going through right now. And I'm not even worried about all the other stuff. Subscribe, do whatever. I don't care. Just have fun. Enjoy. Stay safe. And I'll see you next time right here at Filament Friday.